Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm Pembroke's Welfare and Wellbeing Coordinator. I'm also a tutor in the College in Experimental Psychology. As Welfare Coordinator, I help to support students when they're going through challenging times during their studies. So support might be in the form of helping them to initiate a conversation with tutors or pointing them towards NHS or other university support services or just providing a listening ear and a cup of tea. As well as helping students when things aren't going well, I help to coordinate a program of events that are aimed at promoting positive well-being. We know that when students are feeling good and connected to their community, they're better able to cope with the ups and downs of daily life and with bigger challenges. Some of the well-being events that we do include weekly walks around Christchurch Meadows and more recently we've added weekly runs or twice weekly runs around Christchurch Meadows to the well-being program. But coronavirus has changed every aspect of our lives. And at a time when we're all very focused on how we can look after our physical health, it is so, so important that we continue to focus on our mental well-being. Our modes of providing welfare support to students have very much changed. So face-to-face -face conversations have become Skype calls. And rather than going for walks around the meadows, we're sending links to virtual yoga. We've heard from students about all of the wonderful things that they are doing to support each other and to support their community. The rowing team have been doing virtual circuit training. One student has set up a repository for free online uh, books and films and other cultural material. Students are having virtual coffee dates and virtual revision sessions. We are so inspired by the way that our students have come together in these very challenging times. We don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know how long we'll be at home. So it's so important that we find new ways of doing the things that we love. This is a really good time to be trying out new technologies for connecting with one another. It's a great time to be trying new pursuits and perhaps exploring different formats of the old things that we used to do. And so some of the things that I've been doing. In our psychology community, we traditionally have lunch together every Friday on High Table. It's a really wonderful way of building community amongst our group and connecting with one another. We've recently moved our psychology dining hall lunch to be an online Zoom lunch. I love exercising, it's a really great stress buster and it's something that I do every day. Um, but whereas I'd usually run along the river, lately I've been running laps of our garden and I know that I'm very lucky to have a garden. Um, on the weekend my husband and I did the inaugural, the first garden half marathon, probably the first and last garden half marathon. And I know that other people have been doing really amazing uh, exercise challenges. A man in France ran a full marathon on his balcony. And just last night I read about a man in England who ran a full marathon in his living room. I've moved my coffee dates with friends to be online coffees. And really strangely, I've found that at a time when we're socially isolating, I actually am feeling in some ways more, t more connected to my um, friends in my broader community. Whereas in the past, geographical distance was a limiting factor, when we're all apart from one another, distance no longer matters. I'm having coffee dates with friends in Australia. I hope that all of you are finding new ways to do the things that you love. I hope that you're finding ways to connect with one another and to stay well and say, stay safe during this very challenging time. I also hope that you're finding comfort in the connections that you have with the Pembroke alumni community. Stay safe.